Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I'm currently in the middle of a Nova year. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for being here. I've been doing a lot of custom eyeshadow palettes. I've been shopping my stash a lot and I've just basically been revisiting my makeup collection, sort of re-familiarizing myself with what I currently have and getting to shop my stash for those is like refreshing my makeup in a sense so that it feels like I'm getting something new without actually buying anything new. If you're into that kind of thing, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I would love to have you around. Today I'm just going to do a get ready with me. I'm going to be using makeup that I shopped my stash for, my everyday drawer. That video should be going up before this. A lot of it is stuff that I've been trying to finish up so it's not necessarily a project pan but I have been making a considerable effort to use it up so that I can have makeup items in my empties. I do kind of have a plan or theme for the makeup that I'm going to be doing. I'm very much ready for fall so that's kind of where my head's at. I picked two lips that I might choose between the Sephora lip stains what's the actual name of it the cream lip stains I'm not sure that they even make these anymore do they I don't know but I chose well the two that I have are red and then like a brown red I'm kind of leaning towards the brownie red just to make it a little bit more fall we'll see how I feel once I get the eye look on and then as I'm doing my makeup I'm just it's kind of gonna be like my August check-in, I guess, for my no-buy since I haven't really done that yet. Let's just get started. I was playing around with lip products to use, so my lips are kind of dry right now. So to start off, I'm going to use the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is in the scent Black Raspberry. I'm not sure that it really smells like raspberries. Um, it just kind of has a fruity scent. Okay, in my brows, I already put on the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel, and I filled them in with the Milani Weekend Brow in the shade Espresso. It's generally just how I do my brows on an everyday basis, so I didn't feel like it needed to be on here because I felt like, I feel like you've seen it a bunch of times. I usually always do my eyes first but while I'm doing my eyes I'm going to put on a primer this is the elf power grip primer I'm almost done with it it's one where like um, you kind of need to let it sit for a little bit before you go in with stuff anyway so I'm going to put this on first I think I haven't really been or like it hasn't really been on my or high up on my priority list to film an August check-in because I feel like there's not much more to say than there was for July. I'm going to use the About Face um, eye primer. I have been feeling pretty much the same since July. I've been feeling good about my no buy um i feel like a renewed sense since i broke it in june um if you need an explanation of why i broke it i pretty much go over that in the why i broke my no buy video um and then i talked about it a little bit in the next check-in um, but since then, I feel really good about it. I don't have a lot of urges to purchase new things. I'm going to use the By Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade Misty Rock. I have, though, been seeing... There's a bunch of new releases that I've been seeing that's that have been like intriguing to me. Um, so it's been like testing me a little bit in terms of 
seeing what's new and I kind of feel like it's going to be like that pretty much until the end of the year since it seems like everyone is just gearing up for holiday releases um, and it's also so like I've actually gotten to the point where I've ran out of a couple things in terms of like skincare categories where I've actually needed to like repurchase something so then when I'm on the Sephora or Ulta app or whatever I generally just go to the new like see what's new and on Ulta like I think it was Too Faced maybe they already have like a whole bunch of holiday kits listed and stuff and it's like it's September so um, like it's a little early I'm gonna use these eyeshadow shields so I put that by Terry on basically as a base I like to use these just to catch any fallout I like to use glittery eyeshadows so for the most part they're gonna have some fallout I'm going to use the Natasha Denona palette that I put together of like grungy tones since I've been ready for fall I've been <laughs> gravitating towards this quite a lot um, and since the Misty Rock is a little bit purple in base I'm going to be using this shade right here which I'm pretty sure is from the like blue brown palette of Natasha Denona I've been liking to just kind of keep it simple for the eyes so using that by Terry as a base and then basically just putting one of these shades on and then like calling it a look that's pretty much how I've been using this palette in general is just like as a one and done type shade since they're all pretty not unique but like like they are the show type of thing like I don't really need much else and I guess I didn't really need these that didn't have much um, fallout I am going to take just for shits and giggles um, I'm gonna take this shade right here it's just a darker kind of satiny um, just to give a little bit of dimension in the outer corner I believe this one is from the Leela palette if you want to see the video that I made um, where I put this together I will put it in the description or like link it which way does it go I think over over here maybe I also put together I filled up the Metropolis palette with um, the midi pan shades kind of following the same theme as like grungy metallic um, bronzy taupey whatever's um, but I use a lot more lighter tones in the midi palette. Okay. I'm also just going to quickly zoom through putting mascara on, but I've been using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express waterproof I always use waterproof mascara I'm just gonna put this on okay mascara is on I am gonna put the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter this is the shade 2 
Um, it's a little bit orangey peachy. So I don't use it all over the face like I do the Auric Glow Lust. And I find that if I get it like in my hairline, it's like quite noticeable. So I try to just keep it to the cheeks, forehead, and just a little on the chin. So since I have shopped my stash for it and I've been using it more, um, it kind of just reiterates how much I like the Auric better. And for my base, I'm going to use the Westman Atelier. This is in the shade Atelier N. Generally, it's a little bit dark for me, but I do have some more color to my face. Um... About a week ago, my job did like a lake day and I wasn't as diligent at reapplying sunscreen as I should have been so I got a little bit burnt. My face fared better than my back and shoulders. Um, but it's still darker than like my normal paleness. <laughs> okay, do I have anything more to say about August? I mean, not really, I guess. I have a feeling that as like more holiday sales and stuff are starting I might get a little bit of that FOMO feeling but I think I've like I think I've done a decent job of like shifting my mindset in terms of like my shopping habits and like really kind of thinking about why it is I am doing the shopping in the first place. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Glossier G12, the stretch concealer. I also have just generally been like feeling quite good about just myself and like how the Nova is going. Um, because I've been using up a lot more of the skincare products and even like some of these makeup products that I'm getting pretty close to emptying. It's giving me just like that sense of accomplishment. So I don't feel like it makes me want to keep using the things that I have and trying to empty the things that I have and I don't. Um, really get as much of the like needing something new feeling as I used to get before I did the no buy so that's nice so I think really this holiday season is going to be kind of the true test of like how much I've shifted my mindset around things but going into it I'm feeling good right now so I'm just kind of hoping to keep it that way it also helps that I have been like a bit more steady at work like not super busy but just like consistently having something to do I'm using the ritual defeat Eros this for sure is going to be in the September empties so I'm excited for that so staying more consistently busy at work means sort of less downtime to be like on my phone and like bored or looking for something to do. Okay, camera shut off, but I'm still just putting on the arrows. And I know I've said this 
before, but also just like having this like YouTube thing to sort of occupy my time. I've just been a little bit like steadier at work in terms of my my actual workload. So that means less time on my phone and doing like the YouTube videos and editing and stuff. Generally I'm doing that on the weekend so like I'm not spending weekend time sort of shopping and I also find so I still really like watching YouTube videos um, but I find that I'm watching less which means less watching like new release type videos or like people just constantly talking about new makeup which I see the new makeup coming out because like I'm on Instagram so like I'm seeing like trend mood or whatever post the new releases but so like I'm not really watching those products in action as much or like being hauled so part of what I think started my like overspending on beauty and I don't blame these people at all but like Tara babies I remember watching and just like haul after haul after haul and watching her do like her collection videos of like showing everything that she had and just like constantly seeing new things being bought and I felt sort of the compulsion to like keep up in a sense which I know that she wasn't like that's not her fault at all that's me not being able to just watch and enjoy something without it affecting my habits but I've been watching less videos like that which has helped shift my mindset and I find myself like wanting to watch less of those in a way this is all very rambly and I don't know if any of it's making sense but hopefully it is I don't know <laughs> hopefully it resonates with you a bit I know that I don't know it's just part of the thing of like wanting something you don't have or seeing someone from afar and like you want or you think you want to be like them and part of that is constantly being able to purchase new things or like always getting the new. I've just sort of come to grips with like being content in my life as it is now and not sort of always wanting more which I think I mean I don't think it's only me I think part of society has done that like marketing just in general I'm using the RMS uh, contour bronze I don't know if it's just like my generation I don't know I guess I would consider myself like an an elder millennial and I just feel like like we were the generation that was like constantly marketed towards I don't know and just like the narrative that like you should always be wanting more than you have I don't know <laughs> I still don't know if I'm making like any sense but in terms of like shopping and everything I don't know I just think it's okay to be content with what you have it's okay to not want things it's okay to not have the newest and most shiny thing I'm using the Thrive Tessa blush Okay, and then I'm going to use the Hourglass Ethereal Light, not necessarily as a setting powder, but more just to bring down the shine a bit. Okay, and just to like 
throw some more blush on. I'm going to use the Dior Rosy Glow in the shade Rosewood. Okay, I, I like how that's looking. And I think I will just go with this darker shade. It's number 42. I don't know if there's an actual color name attached to it. And again, I think it was kind of discontinued anyways. I don't think they make this exact formula anymore. And I'm going to see how well I can do with this without making myself look like a clown. I find, since I don't typically wear like full-on lipstick, I like to kind of just do a couple dots and like blot it in. So we'll see if I can make that happen. Pretty decent job. That was maybe too much, let's see. I think that makes it pretty fall-esque. All right, makeup done. If I want to amp this up and make it a little bit more dramatic, I'll put an eyeliner in like my waterline and tight line which I guess I'll do it just for the hell of it. I'm going to use this NYX Faux Black Burnt Sienna. So it kind of goes with the lip color a little bit. All right. This is my ready for fall makeup using items that I shopped my stash for. Again, that video, if it isn't up already, if it is not up already, um, when it is up, I will put a link to it in the description. I'm trying to think if I have any other check-in items to talk about. Um, I feel like I rambled enough that maybe I covered it all. Maybe I didn't really have much to say at all and it was just all nonsense. I'll find out when I'm editing. <laughs> and maybe this never sees the light of day. Who knows? I think just for the most part, I'm feeling good about the no-buy. I feel good about using up the stuff. I feel like I'm, like, I feel less anxious about what's currently open in my bathroom in terms of skincare. And I think that's like a unintended benefit of what the snow buy has been. Um, I guess I didn't realize how sort of stressed I was about like what was happening and like using my skincare I didn't realize that like having so much of it was sort of stressing me out but now that it's like toning down and like my skincare routine is fading to a more manageable level of items like I'm just feeling good about it so yeah that's pretty cool um, I'm excited to go into September and the rest of the year, I'm, I don't know, I'm just feeling content and I think that's a place that I didn't really know that I was looking to be at or that I was needing to be at but now that I'm here like just overall I feel better. That's all I've got I guess. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way to the end. Uh, let me know in the comments below, I don't know, what's your favorite season? What are you looking forward to? Do you like fall as much as I do? Fall generally brings a sense of refreshment and starting over just because, like for me, fall is starting a new school year, even though I've been out of school for uh, 11 years. I still get that feeling every time fall comes around. So let me know in the comments your thoughts about fall and no buys and feeling content in your life rather than always wishing and wanting for more. I would love to read about it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.